One question. What would you say is the best blaster in the Elite 2.0 line? Uh, what would you say is the Echo? The Phoenix? Or something else? Because I personally think it's the Turbine. Yes, I got the Turbine. I got it at a Walmart. $45 and with uh, C batteries. Not sponsored. <laughs> Uh, uh, what is the turbine? Well, it's a it's a flywheel as a flywheel a fully automatic uh, magazine fed blaster. Essentially, the new rapid strike, but it shoots like twenty percent faster than the rapid strike. Let's jump straight into it. Yes, you guys actually get to watch an unboxing. Exciting, am I right? Yup, very exciting. This is so entertaining, am I right? What else do we have? Is that what it? Oh. I'm scared to like accidentally. Um, yeah. I'm gonna put it down here. Oh, and it comes with the 18 dollar magazine, not a clip. I know you think I might call it a clip because like, you might think I'm a new bad nerd, but no, I am not. At least when it comes to nerf, to nerf to terminology. 18 dollar uh, magazine. Hasbro calls it a clip, but they're completely wrong. Oh my god. That's honest? Like, did you see? Oh my god. Oh, I'll get to that later. It also comes with some dirt, so let me unbox that. So, plus dirt. Oh my god. And a few darts came out. Well, I'm gonna fix this real quick. So uh, I got the darts out. I'll just put that on the side. And finally, I think I hit something. Nope. The instruction. Here's what's included with the turbine. Now let's get on with the battery installment. To install the batteries, you need a screwdriver and. There's um, a school port right there. Screw. I swear each time I try to unscrew it, I damage the screw with soap. Imagine if Nerf screwed the literal battery compartment together. search that up. So um, you store the battery right here. If, it, um, if the time zone looks different because it is, um, last time I filmed it was a few hours ago. <sighs> yeah. I basically quit because of this and the magazine release. I didn't have the right screwdriver. I had to find it. Yeah. I'm gonna get to the magazine release later on, okay? So let's get the overview of this. 
Starting out at the front, there is an answer girl look, so you can put your all of your at least all of your um, nerf blasters, your long strike, your recon, your retaliator, your spectre. <laughs> but but the thing is that if you look closely, it is slightly away from the main barrel. Ba ba barrel. So if you attach a long um, um, barrel like the long strike or uh, recon slash retaliator barrel, it's gonna wobble more than the average one. But if you use something like um, re um, if you use something like a, a, a spectre barrel, the, the wobble is not going to really exist, like it wobbles less. If you use something like the ion, um, very short barrel, then that is also going to work with minimum, um, <clears throat> you know, minimum wobble. But moving up, we see there's an iron sight. Um, this is not really a good iron sight, this is a forward and there's a rare. Not really good iron sights because normally you don't usually use your iron sight. Normally you would use a tactical rail as your iron sight, but still you don't really use your iron sight when you're nerfing. You kind of just spray and pray. Yeah. And down here we see there's a sling slash uh, there's a sling mount right there. Yeah, there's a total of two sling mounts, and if you're wondering why I said two instead of three. But this thing does not act like a sling mount. It is way too small. But yeah. Uh, moving back, there's an access door. You you get in this to clear any jams or malfunctions. I have one jam out of all the firing procedures off camera. I didn't capture those. And yeah, it is pretty useful. And unlike the Phoenix, where it goes this way, it goes this way. So yeah. Moving back, there's an end strike rail. Uh, this is like most all most end strike rails. You can attach all your scopes and sight and a foregrip. Yeah, on this thing. Moving back, there's the quote unquote sling mount, but we'll just call that a fake out sling mount. And then uh, the battery compartment, which I will not show you because I am not going through the pain that is unscrewing the screw. I actually damaged the screw, I had to get a new one installed, yeah. Moving back, we see this is the stock part portion. Uh, the stock is kind of short, uh, will be a bit short for people, including me. Um, it might be a bit short for people with long arms, but honestly, like, it's okay, I guess. Moving down, there's another sling mount, a gray sling mount, so you can attach your slings. Yeah. And this is a Zumble stock, and for, a, a, for Hasbro Zumble stock, there hasn't been really a good track record. Honestly, Zumble stocks, like, um, they make it so that, like, the Zumble stocks are amazing for kids, but horrible for adults to hold. Like, honestly, Zumble stocks may look cool, I'll give them the style points. But still, not very comfortable for adults. Yeah, and the grip um, is pretty good. It has a pretty decent size. And then we got the rev up trigger, which you hold it down for a bit before firing. And yeah, I recommend you um, rev it up for a few seconds before firing to max out the flywheels. Moving up, we see the trigger. This trigger is like most triggers. Um, I don't really have any other triggers to any flywheel triggers to compare with except for the Phoenix. And honestly, it doesn't. It's a it's a okay it's a okay one. And then we see the mag release. This has to be the worst mag release in all of Nerf history. Because they, it feels like there's literally no spring or they use the plastic spring. I can't even remove it with my index finger. I literally have to put it against something, use my thumb, and then pull it out. And that barely works. I only was able to remove it by myself once. Nerf, what the hell? Like, like I know you're trying to save costs, but this is not acceptable. How do you expect a child, a kid, to... You literally do use the mag release. This is not rival. But still, like, like, barely anybody is going to 
be able to um, use this night release except for adults. And a, a nerf is targeted towards kids. Elite 2.0 wide. Okay, besides besides uh, the magazine uh, issue, magazine release issues, the rest of the blaster is very uh, very um, <sighs> is very good except for the part that they glued and clipped. But still, I'm gonna try to ignore that. But still, Hasbro or Nerf, this is unacceptable. Fix it. Whew, I'm uh, starting to bash on Hasbro or Nerf. But anyways, moving down, there's a magazine wall. Like I said, it's very hard to remove, so I'm not going to even try. Oh, this is probably going to take two days to film. Yeah, but still. Mag is this comes with this 18 dart uh, magazine. And if you saw Chris's review, you, you'll know that his follower in his magazine will get trapped sometimes. I'm pretty sure he just has a lemon because mine works perfectly. Well, not necessarily perfectly, but good enough. And then moving here, we uh, we have a place where you rest your hand. People call this a foregrip, but I just call I just I don't call it that. I don't even really call it anything. Moving here, uh, another star, uh, another rail. You can put your like flat, or your flat uh, I guess you could put a foregrip there, but that still doesn't seem very comfortable. You can put a crappy flashlight or a homemade one. Uh, or if you have that bay and that kit, you can put it there. And then uh, on the side, we see two tactical rails on each side. Honestly, one thing, there's only four rails on this thing. Four rails on this entire thing. What the hell has the... The Phoenix has had five, and that's a pistol-sized blaster. This... It's like a primary. I don't know why you put, you put you put five rails on the Phoenix, but you couldn't put five on here. You could simply add a rail right here. I don't understand. I know you're trying to save money, and you're trying to. Uh, your, oh my God. Jesus Christ! I'm just saying, Nerf. Why couldn't you have added a an end strike rail right here? Like that would've been so much much better. Okay, I'm sorry for bashing on Nerf for a bit, but still, I have to say, I have to address that. Like, what the hell, Nerf? What the hell? What the hell is wrong with you guys? Look, I'm not trying. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to blame. Um, I'm not trying to blame the people who designed this. I know you guys are very hard workers, but still, this is unacceptable. I think I might be done bashing on the uh, bashing on there. Um, still, magazine ish magazine release unacceptable. Unacceptable nerf. Look at the look at. Hold on, let me show. I am not joking when I say I can't even remove it. I literally have to put it up to something. Thumb down and then try to remove it, and that just barely works. I have to get a, oh, I have to get an adult to remove this. I swear the magazine release is the only drawback, except for the lack of rails. But I'm not really gonna complain about that anymore. Oh yeah, I forgot there is no extra talk attachment points because there's just this built-in stock. <sighs> Let's compare this to the Rapid Strike. First things first, no carry handle. The Rapid Strike had a carry handle on way more rails than this. Oh god, I can't get over the rails. Oh my god. But still, there was a carry handle right here, but they didn't put one on here. I mean, you would normally, if you would probably compare this to the Hyper Fire instead, since they're both thumb hole stock, but I guess you will compare this to the Rapid Strike. Because they use a pusher instead of conveyor belt, see? But still, I would, uh, but still, this has like a 25% faster fire rate than the Rapid Strike. But the Rapid Strike had an adjustable stock and this thing doesn't, it just has a built-in, oh crap, it's over 10. 
Okay, I'll try to make um, I'll try to make the shooting a bit short. I'll only be using I'll only be using elite darts and only manual firing because I am not going to be dealing with this magazine release. Okay. We're actually going to do a bit out of order. I'm going to jump to conclusions real quick because I don't really have much time to film on uh, the, the firing test today. Nerf. Uh, should you buy this over the rapid strike? Definitely if you're looking for a, uh, if you're looking for a gun that uses a pusher, has a much fire, uh, higher fire rate than the rapid strike. However, the rapid strike had an adjustable stock and and honestly, it had a carry handle, so it makes it carrying a bit more easy, and it came with a clear magazine, which is exclusive to the Rapid Strike. Sad life. And Nerf, how can I forget? Please just include two more magazines, one more magazine. Please, I am tired of this one magazine bull crap. You guys, you guys literally, you guys literally supplied it with two times the amount of darts that one magazine can hold. So why not add another magazine? What the freak, Nerf? You did that with the Stampede. Like the original Stampede had three new, uh, three, uh, eighteen dart magazine and one six dart magazine. We're talking, we're talking about airstrike here. I'm not even talking about elite. Elite barely had any blasters that came with two magazines, at least I know of. I don't think there's been a single Elite blaster that had that had two magazines. What the hell, Nerf? Include two freaking magazines. Uh, it was kind of good that you didn't include two on here because, like, the magazine really sucks. But still, fix your magazine release and include two times, uh, one times, uh, two times the magazine that, uh, that, it, that, um, just include two magazines of the same capacity. <sighs> I think I might be done bashing on Nerf. I'm going to give you guys some things that I actually love about this. Yes, I'm going to do pros and cons now instead of, like, the conclusion thing. First things first. The much higher fire rate. Like, it makes you feel, it feels more like an SMG than a, 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 a traditional carbine or carbine. Uh, what else? I can't really find it. Oh, yeah, how can I forget? Uh, the style points. Like, look how cool this looks. Like, imagine just, imagine just being in a Nerf War and seeing somebody with, a, with this. Just shooting at you. Honestly, it looks pretty on par. It looks more like a magazine. Uh, one person said it looked kind of like something out of Titanfall slash Apex Legends. Like it looked like a little havoc combined with the bolts. I personally do not see it, but they can they can say whatever they want. I guess this is their video. Crap! I dropped out Venture Force waffles. But yeah, now to the firing. Uh, firing. I'm only gonna do elite darts because I am tired of this magazine release. If you want to see waffle head darts, comment down below. I'll I'll do a separate video with that. But for now, this magazine release really suck. Possibly like the mag. Possibly it gets less stiff over time. Like it gets more easy. Like like it's just so stiff to the point that you need. It's like you glued this thing into it, and you're trying to take it out. <sighs> Hasbro, I just bet, I just beg you, fix the magazine release. But anyways, let's go to the firing. Starting out with the with standard leaf darts. Most of them are the included one, but a few of them are the are the original blue ones. some burst firing still with standard elite darts.
Now we're going to use some Adventure Force waffles. Yeah. So first things first. Should you buy this? Go ahead. Go ahead buy this if you uh, if you're willing if you're willing to get your fingers swollen over the magazine, at least at least I got my fingers a bit swollen. The way that I've been um oh, uh, get getting the magazine released to work, that I push it down onto something, use both of my thumbs and then let go of one of my like I push as much effort with my with my right thumb and then I put in the left thumb, then push it down even more. Then you let go of my le left thumb and take it out. However, uh, my thumb did hurt from it. But overall, I suggest you go buy a rapid strike. Like I, I know I love the, uh, I know about uh, the fire is good and all, but like magazine release, like it's so painful, like. I don't really got anything to say, and this is the second day of filming, but still. Fix your magazine release. No. But still, overall, great blaster. I would give it a 10 out of 10. I would give it a 10 out of 10. It was almost perfect if it wasn't glued, and the magazine release wasn't an issue. I, I wouldn't even have rated... Uh, the thing being glued shut because why would you want to modify this thing? Like, like it's basically perfect, but I'll have to down it because like the magazine release you have to t push so deep in. That's what she said. To just to get it out, and just to get uh, get the magazine out. So go buy a rapid strike unless you're willing to like basically hurt your fingers over this. But still, it uses the pressure like the rapid strike, but like yeah. Still, and I got a bit of jam using this magazine. I also tested once my six round magazine using the Phoenix. Leave a comment down below if you want a review on that. It's just there will be no unboxing, but like. Like the dirt will push out and then it will jam the pusher. But yeah, overall, you should buy this if you're not willing to like. If you're uh, if you're willing to uh, put up with this annoying magazine release. But anyways, that's the review. Hope you have a nice day or night or afternoon or noon. But still, I'll see you next time. I probably won't do a, uh, a review with the unboxing for a while. But still, I'll do I'll do a review on what I got. I only have two more Nerf Blasters left. Uh, I have two um, Adventure Force ones, but I don't know if you guys want to see it. Leave a comment down below if you want. But anyways, have a nice day or night or noon or afternoon. I'll see you next time I want to upload. Goodbye.